Hi, this is Denise Donaldson with Safe Ride News Publications. I write the Safe Ride News newsletter and the Latch Manual and the School Bus Safety Handbook. And today what I want to talk to you about is a tip for installing a car seat without a base that I talked about in a recent Safe Ride News. In particular, it has to do with European routing of the seatbelt and especially when it seems like the seatbelt is too short for that. So what I have here is a Cybex Aton 2 and I want to make sure I'm really clear about this. This is only an option on seats where this is specifically mentioned as an alternative type of installation in the owner's manual. So here we have in the manual it's describing this kind of routing that's typical in Europe uh, and it's always an, an uh, option over the standard way. So right here I have the Aton 2 in the car and I have the standard routing with the lap belt going across the belt path and in the Euro routing system you would take that shoulder belt and you'd bring it around back behind the car seat. And the problem we have sometimes with that is that it it appears that wow this seat belt is too short to get the shoulder belt around the back and so the temptation is to tilt the car seat upward to try and get it and just frequently I find that technicians or caregivers say you know it's too short I can't do it and um, so the tip I want to show you is a simple way to make this actually work out and so let me just unbuckle this and we'll start over because as you can hear the belt system had switched over to locked mode and so we're going to have to restart it and set up my car seat and I start out by doing the standard routing but I just get as far as putting it through the belt path. I'm not going to buckle it yet and instead I'm going to do that part where I bring the shoulder belt around back and in some cases like this one uh, car seat model there's actually a little guide at the back here others don't so just make sure you follow whatever instructions are in the in the owner's manual but so I've got it all running through the belt path properly but of course now I have to come back to that part where I want to uh, do the buckling so I have to get some slack and now you can see click I can buckle the belt so without having to do any tilting I can easily get this belt to actually make it all the way around the back of the car seat now don't forget this is a switchable belt system so I want to pull it the rest of the way out to switch it over to locked mode. Then I'm going to finish up all my regular tightening, which is going to involve pushing down on the seat, bringing the shoulder belt, and getting as many clicks in as we can, checking the angle by looking at the angle indicators, readjusting the seat if it needs to be repositioned so that the indicator shows that it's either level to ground or there's a sometimes a gravity based indicator but in any case now I have a nice tight installation I can check it in the typical fashion you know there's no side to side movement no more than an inch when you're testing at the belt path so a nice tight fit so I wanted to show this tip because I mean it's a super duper simple tip it's just simply not buckling in initially somehow makes it so that there's enough webbing to get around the back so that what you think might not be possible for Euro routing is actually doable. And the reason that's super important is because not only do you have the standard uh, restraint here of the seat, you're going to get the advantage of that shoulder belt kind of cradling the back of the car seat, which is going to make it more stable in a crash or even non-crash. Also in a crash, it's not going to rotate as much back, which we know is good because that's going to keep the baby more upright. And if it doesn't rotate as much, it's not going to rebound as much. So this is just a much better solution for people who aren't using their base, whether they're using a ride share or um, on, are traveling in, in a rental car. It's just a much better solution if they have the car seat in use without the base. So um, please check out my website at saferidenews.com. I have this written out so you can share it with your, other, your technicians, uh, but it sometimes helps to see exactly what we're talking about. So I'm happy to show this video. And um, so please uh, make sure you let people know this is a good tip. I've never found a car that can't actually reach. So that shouldn't be a good excuse if we haven't tried this tip first. All right, thanks a lot.